everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Angelica here. If you're new then come in, have a seat, have several seats. If you're not new, thank you for having me once again, all up on your screen. In this video I'm going to be discussing my Oxford experience versus my LSE experience. So I'm currently a second year law student at the London School of Economics and before this I was at the University of Oxford. So yeah, let's get into the video. If you haven't watched the first video where I spoke about my experience then definitely check it out. I'm going to be talking within the context of careers because I left that out in the first video. LSE is known for being quite careers oriented. Um, the students themselves are quite careers, <laughs> you know, focused, quite driven. The thing I've noticed is that definitely as an institution, I believe that LSE supports its students um, a little bit more in terms of careers. Um, I never really had a reason to engage with the Oxford Career Service. I'm sure there is one. I think that in Oxford, it's kind of like a person thing, like an individual kind of pursue if you're like seeking an internship. There's the people in Oxford who if you're interested you go and get opportunity yourself um, and like societies, societies at Oxford as well have their own events so it's more like it's less an institutional thing. Like, in terms of like reputation, people have asked me this, I think everyone knows that LSE and Oxford are basically pretty much the same. Um, but I think it depends on the industry you're going into. I did say in the last video that Oxford has a general brand, like people know of Oxford, like ugh, Oxford as a word is kind of like well known. You don't even need to go far, like go into central London, I'm pretty sure you're going to see a tourist wearing an Oxford jumper and I'm pretty sure they don't go to Oxford University. Um, I don't really come across that many people wearing LSE jumpers if they don't go to LSE, so that's something I've noticed. I think Oxford has a general brand. However, this is not necessarily um, a huge advantage in my opinion because um, the industries that like LSE caters to, LSE is just as respected if not more. I think LSE is more respected in terms of social science um, because that is what LSE does but overall I think Oxford has an advantage in terms of like the general reputation. If you're not trying to go into social sciences, let's say you're trying to go into medicine now, of course Oxford's going to probably be more, you know, <laughs> respected in medicine because they offer medicine courses whereas LSE doesn't offer that. But for me personally, that, that's never affected me. Most people at LSE, um, some of them go into STEM but it's not necessarily like your hardcore STEM. At LSE there is pressure for you to go into some certain industries and I don't know who's responsible, I don't know if it's the students themselves, I don't know if it's LSE. But but it's definitely here um, and I don't think there was that same pressure at Oxford. I feel like people are more like easygoing at Oxford. You could argue that it's just the kind of caliber of people who get into LSE. At Oxford, um, I feel like people have like other options. Like, people are a bit more, you know, like, easygoing. Something I've said in one of my recent videos, LSE graduates earn the most out of all the other UK graduates. Um, so, LSE graduates earn higher than Oxford graduates. And I don't know if it's because of the industries, it probably is the industries we go into. For instance, because of the variety of people there, like, more people might go into, like, arts, like, People still go into arts at LSE, a lot of us do, but like the pool of candidates, the um, industries they go into at Oxford might be a bit more diverse in terms of like the range and also in terms of the percentage. So more people are more likely to not go into Goldman Sachs. <laughs> I always mention Goldman Sachs when it comes to LSE. There are really Goldman Sachs warriors here at LSE, there are a lot of them and we'll speak on that another day. I see more LSE students at my internships than like all the other universities combined like there'll be 20 students from UK universities and nine will be from LSE and one will be from Oxford one will be from Nottingham one will be from Manchester there's always a lot of LSE students probably contributes to why we earn the highest because we go into certain industries more in terms of percentage than um, other university graduates from Oxford for instance. I personally don't think I would have had as much opportunities as I have had at LSC. I don't think I would have had the confidence, especially as a law student, to apply for banking internships, which I ended up getting. Um, so for me, like, I think that LSC has really given me confidence. Now, at Oxford, the environment is not so toxic in terms of pressure. Um, for me, I like the environment at LSC. I like the entrepreneurial feel. Um, but if you're not really trying to be in an entrepreneurial space in the same way, and maybe you care a lot more about academia, like, there is a push, a bigger push in Oxford for like academia-type careers. 
um, and there is a push in LSC but like there isn't like so much of like an academia route like you probably can still go into academia at LSC but um, it's not quite like there's more people trying to do that at Oxford basically from what I've noticed I might be wrong but that's what I've noticed in terms of like the industries I personally think that LSC is the best for me like LSC has given me more access into um, social science than any other university could have especially when it comes to like economics and political science which is basically what LSE is about um, <laughs> it's policy politics um, and law LSE has definitely like done more for me in gaining an access into these type of industries especially in the global sense Oxford does have its PPE course which basically feeds mostly into like UK politics as an Oxford student you, there is a route for you to go down if you want to go to politics and policy making from what I've noticed it's more geared to the UK whereas if you were a thinking of being like a global leader for instance in another country internationally and making more of an intercontinental difference in policy making then LSE would make more sense when it comes to social science obviously LSE dominates because for instance one department at LSE probably has more social science courses than the entire Oxford University but then again it's kind of more like a global focus you still can go into UK politics in LSE but you can also go into global politics so LSE does both you can still go into global politics and be from Oxford University however there's not like there is more of a push when it comes to like the UK civil service and you know you guys obviously know the history of a lot of prime ministers it's kind of more about like UK stuff um, and it depends on who you are I personally benefit from being at LSC because I'm not really thinking like down like UK roots I'm thinking a bit bigger than that so if you get into Oxford you most likely met the grades to get into Oxford um, or at least maybe you might have had mitigating circumstances you probably won't have problems when it comes to applying for elite um, internships for instance if you want to go into investment banking you probably meet the grades and that's the case at LSE like once you essentially once you get it onto an LSE course you basically like got really good grades so I don't think you'd ever really have a problem in terms of eligibility for a lot of programs here one thing that both LSE and Oxford have is alumni so basically you can connect with people who are doing the kind of job you want to do you have that benefit of interacting with firms so um, they do this thing called targeting basically firms visit target universities and LSE and Oxford are always target universities being at LSE you're actually in the environment of these corporate firms so um, as much as that is like a that is obviously a benefit like that's great because you I visit the firms more often than an Oxford student gets to visit the firms maybe you might not want to be in that environment maybe you might want to just like enjoy your uni experience um, if you're gonna work in London for the rest of your life <laughs> that sounds very sinister but if you're gonna work in London for the rest of your life you might not want to be in London but personally I want to be in London and I don't see myself working only in London anyway so I like London like LSD has literally changed my life um, in ways that Oxford didn't. Um, it's personal um, so for those of you who have been wondering like should I choose LSE over Oxford, should I choose Oxford over LSE, um, I think it really depends on what you want out of your university experience. That was my experience um, in the careers aspect um, of being at Oxford versus being at LSE. I hope you've enjoyed this video, let me know what you think in the comment section make sure you give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next bye